Hi, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here. The other day as I was stamping, I was using a special stamp set. It's a reversible set. So the one side is designed to stamp the texture or the detail, and you can flip the same stamp over to the flat side that's normally against your block and fill it in. And I started thinking, you know, we could do this with our other stamps too. Why haven't I ever tried this with my other stamps? Started playing around with this fun technique and I wanted to share it with you so that you can try it with your stamps. So first I'm going to share this technique with you with the stamp set that is designed to do this. This is the Sea Turtle stamp set. I love it. And it's hard to appreciate how big and amazing this turtle is until you actually see it stamp. So I wanna show this to you. And then I'm going to show you how to use any stamp in your collection and do this same technique. So what I'm going to do first is, and I'll mention, I do have a very simple fun fold card design I'm gonna share here in a few minutes. I'll share the measurements with you that you can create this if you want to when I get my finished turtle card done. So I've inked this with my Pretty Peacock ink. Now this reminds me, we have an ink uh, color collection refresh happening soon. Uh, so you may wanna stock up on the refills, the card stocks, the colors in your collection because some of our traditional colors will be going away and other new ones will be coming to replace them. Okay, so I stamped with the detailed side. Now I'm flipping my stamp over. I am actually laying the flat side of the stamp down on my project, and I am going to mount the textured side, the side we normally stamp with. That is now mounted against the plate of my Stamparatus. If you would like more information about my Stamparatus, this is one of the most amazing tools ever. I will link to a video in the video description with more information about it. So here you can see, I love that I can get two uses out of the stamp. One, I can do the detail. Two, I can fill in that added color. Now, let's finish this piece off. I wanna show you this finished card and then I wanna share with you how to do this with your other stamps. So I have the little baby turtle here. We have a big one and a baby one. I think these are the sweetest things. So I am going to also stamp this one right here. I'll clean it off, flip it around to the other side ink it. This is my parakeet party ink. Stamp again. And let's look at how this card comes together. I already have it almost all put together. So this is just a very simple fun fold card like I shared with you. Uh, I've used by the bay designer paper. I have used a greeting from the whale done stamp set. And I will put this together and we have just a really fun card with that big, beautiful turtle, okay? So let's look at how you can do this with your other stamps. Now I will mention, if you have stamps that are symmetrical, they are, if you divide them in half, they're the same on the left and the right sides. Those are going to be the stamps that are going to work best with this. But I wanted to see, how I could use some other stamps that are not symmetrical and do the same thing. So to give you an example of a stamp that is not going to work very well, this bunny right here. So if I stamp it on my paper, I'll have an image that looks just like that. When I flip it over, it's not going to line up correctly. So I was trying to come up with a technique for how we can make this work. And I think with the mirror stamping technique, you might be able to. We won't get into that today, but let's look at some other stamps that we can do this with that are not exactly symmetrical, they're close. Here's a stamp set called Sentimental Park. And I really like that I have the stem and the leaves to work with and this nice little flower. It's just simple, basic. You can make very nice, beautiful, detailed cards if you want, or simple ones like these that I have created. So let's take a look at how to do this technique with these stamps right here. So first I'm going to stamp 
with them as designed. So here is some old olive ink. I'm going to add the flower on top with some Poppy Parade. And the stamp set does have some stamps designed to fill in and add some color. It's got this stamp and that stamp. They do leave some white in between, but sometimes your stamp sets don't have any stamp design to fill in the color. Or maybe you want full color instead of this particular detail. So here is what we're going to do. Again, flip that stamp over. Put the part against the block that you normally stamp with so that the flat side is up. I'm going to ink this with a lighter color of ink. So for the flower, I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. Now this is not exactly symmetrical, so it isn't going to line up perfectly. And because of the way the stamps are made, it's going to be bigger than the, than the original image. And what I found is this is a little bit bigger than like the reversible stamp set with the turtle that was designed to work this way. Now the leaf, I'm going to flip it over. If you look at it, it, well, I need to look at it this way. It's going to curve the opposite way. With these photopolymer stamps, you can actually do a little bit of curving yourself and get it to stick Bend, bend the way you want it to. And I'm going to ink this with a lighter color. I'll ink this with my soft sea foam and stamp. So does it line up perfectly? It does not, but I think it really opens up some opportunities for filling in color for some of your stamp sets that only have outlines. So try this technique, let me know how it goes. I, really I realized I forgot to share the measurements for my fun fold card with you, so let me do that now. My card base measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. I have scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half. My inside designer paper, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I have cut two rectangles from this really neat new radiating stitches die set. It was the middle rectangle. I cut two of those. The mat that goes behind this one is two and three quarters by four and one eighth. And this piece of designer paper measures two and five eighths by four and one eighth. So really simple, but fun, fun fold card to create. Really appreciate you watching along. If you like card making tips and techniques and tricks and all kinds of things like that, I would love for you to go to my channel and check out my whole playlist with tons and tons of them. Click on my name below, go to my channel. There near the top is my card making tips and tricks. You can watch them all day long probably if you want to. So thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.